Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5, and today we're going to be talking about some new news as to what's going to be happening in the premiere episode in October. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, over the last few days, we've been getting the behind-the-scenes Instagram stories, Snapchat stories from the cast members. So there have been, like, basically no concrete photos. I have actually been able to get some of the photos from DC Marvel United's channel. He actually did a video on this a few days ago, but all credits go to him for actually getting that because I couldn't see it on the Instagram stories. So we're going to be going over what happened in regards to Keenan Lonsdale, and also we're going to be talking about what's going to be happening in the episode. And also YVR Shoots has got a filming description for a scene that they're going to be shooting outside in the next few days. So as you know, Comic Con is about a week from now it's on the 21st and today is the 13th so just over a week and then we're going to be heading to comic con so there's going to be like six trailers in one day so i'll do my best to try and get out as many videos as possible then but i can't guarantee that all of them will come out definitely the flash and supergirl maybe i'll do arrow and legends the next day something like that I'm guessing I will have to end up doing. But the information that has been leaked out from behind the scenes is that Keenan Lonsdale, obviously we knew he was coming back for episode 1 of The Flash. The thing that a lot of people online have spotted out in his photo that he actually took and from the behind the scenes Instagram story that he took as well, he is wearing that exact same suit that he wore when they all met Nora at the end of the season after the birth of Joe and Cecile's daughter. So this hints that the start of season 4 is going to be a direct continuation which is very different from what we've had in previous seasons due to the fact that we've always had a 6 month time gap and if we start there it could maybe be a flashback and then we do a jump cut to the future or they make up for that later in the season when they go into a break and then they say a longer time has gone on since we've actually broken up. Seeing that he actually posted this photo with him in the suit on a time scale that is very soon and they were only shooting the first couple of scenes and it's all indoor scenes that's why you haven't seen any behind the scenes photos from any people camping out the sets. It's all closed doors, that's why you will see nothing. However, soon after, Keenan actually posted on his Instagram story, walking around in his kid flash suit. So from this, a lot of people and myself can infer that after they do that meeting scene that's going to be continued with Nora Allen into season 5, I'm guessing there is going to be some sort of reason for Kid Flash to suit up, most likely with Barry and probably Nora, so maybe some sort of threat appears right at the start of the season after Nora's revealed herself and maybe it's a direct continuation and maybe it sets up like the first villain for the first part of the season because I don't think that Cicada is going to be a season long villain maybe he appears in the first episode that's the rumor so from all of this it seems like they're trying to maybe change up the formula a bit considering that last season wasn't very well received however some people did like it but some people really hated it and some people just didn't like it at all. So the final thing is that YVR Shoots was able to get a photo of a filming notice that's going to be happening on the 16th of July, so just five days before they go to Comic Con, so they will obviously fly to LA a few days later from this. But it says that on the 16th they're going to be filming scenes of a jewellery store heist then crime scene aftermath so from what we can see here this is just the villain of the week robbing a jewellery store and then if there's a crime scene aftermath I'm guessing this is going to be Barry doing his CSI work finding out you know how this heist actually happened and who actually is behind it it's most likely the villain of the week so that is about it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later goodbye